Hey everybody, MRP here. Uh, just checking in. Um, vaping update number 13. Haven't done a video in a couple of months, but uh, I've been busy. I am on Elixir TV uh, every night watching. Monday nights I'm on the show with uh, Jeff, aka Slinger. Uh, so I'm going to bring you up to date a um, couple of things that's got going on. Um, had a chance to try try a few new juices and wanted to share those with you. Um, I did. I was able to uh, finally put together a uh, very small uh, box mod. That is my version of nice and easy. Uh, very simple little box. I actually found it laying around uh, one of my uh, junk boxes of stuff I keep. Um, it's just a simple uh, 3.7 volt uh, box mod. You got a regular push button switch that I chopped the top off and shaved it down so it's really uh, you know sort of small and uh, put the profiles a little better. Um, it does have a little LED in there to light up indicate that it's firing. Um, it's pretty good. Um, can't really complain about it. Uh, homemade jug. Bought some 14500 batteries. Little teeny box. Pretty good. Anyway, uh, so that's new. Uh, I've uh, won a few juices on Elixir TV shows, um, not many, just a couple, uh, first of which was from uh, Stu Bear, he's got a uh, sort of an early show uh, a couple nights a week, and unfortunately I can't remember which days those are, but I'll look it up and uh, put it in the description below here. Um, so I got uh, from the Vapor Room, uh, it's 24 milligram uh, French vanilla. Um, it is a 75-25 BGVG, um, and it actually vapes pretty well. The 24 milligrams is uh, absolutely necessary, uh, or a higher milligram with this stuff, because uh, the, the, the vanilla is very mild, uh, so the throat hit is fairly minimal. Uh, and the other one I got was uh, this blueberry cinnamon crumble. Again, vapor room, uh, 24 milligram. Uh, it's a 50-50 PGBG uh, mix. This stuff is really good. Um, I've only had it for a short time. I got probably a good mill there. And this isn't even like my all-day deal because it's 50-50 and I use the, um, still using the Ego Tank uh, system. This is my second atomizer, um, which is kind of funny. My first alcohol wash, uh, soak, whatever, just to clean it out, um, I was wiping it off and just not very hard, just with a paper towel and the rubber coating fell right off of it. Um, obviously it's not going to affect its vaping, but I just thought it was kind of funny that the rubberized coating seemed to basically fall right off. Uh, so blueberry crumble, cinnamon crumble, the cinnamon is not too bad, but it does give it a nice kick uh, to the blueberry, and the blueberry is very strong in there. Um, I also, uh, finally, after many attempts, I uh, watch his show uh, almost every week, it's J.D. Vore and Oli front porch vaping. Um, I believe he's on Thursday nights, uh, 8 to 10, or, yeah, 8 to 10. I'm going to have to look up the schedule. I'll put down a couple of show times. Anyway, um, I also uh, do a show on Elixir Monday nights, 8 to 10, with Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger. Um, thank you for all the subscriptions, everybody. Um, we'll be drawing a winner uh, probably next week on our show, or, uh, yeah, this next Monday, uh, 8 to 10. Uh, I'll put the uh, link to the Stickum channel in the description below. Um, it is, I'll say it, www.stickum.com slash ElixirTV2. That's the actual web address. Uh, so I also got uh, two juices from JD. Um, one is the uh, Gator Bait. Uh, this is a lime sort of graham crackery uh, flavor. Uh, first lime vape. Um, on the fence, it's a good flavor. His, his flavors are definitely out of sight because he mixes obviously his stuff, his stuff all himself. So he controls the amount of flavor, and he's very, you know, very strong with the flavors, which is excellent. Uh, so it's a great flavor. Um, on the fence with the lime, uh, again, first lime vape. So it takes a few you know, to get used to, and I haven't really vaped that much of it. Uh, probably switching over to that pretty soon. Um, it is a 60/40 PG VG and a 12 milligram Nick content. Um, this one here I, I got and then vaped the snot right out of it real quick. Um, excellent flavor, uh, Zale Bonnet. It's like a white chocolate, um, 
I think it's some sort of nutty flavor in there. It, it's very good. The white chocolate is, is what's standing out uh, in, in the uh, e-juice, and it vapes very well because it's 60-40 mix. Um, it's something I would prefer uh, if I was DIYing. It's 60-40, 70-30. Um, it's thick enough that it won't run right through the atomizer, but it's thin enough that um, you know it, it'll vapor real well, won't clog things. Uh, so those are a couple of juices I've tried. Uh, sort of different from what my norm is, which is the tobacco flavors. Um, and then also I got a, a sample of uh, Vapor Renew Coffee, 16 milligram from uh, Tech, who's a friend of mine. Uh, thanks, Tech. And I also was able to try uh, that, by the way, let me stop for a second, is a, is a pretty good f coffee flavor. Uh, light on the throat hit, even at 16 milligrams is light on the throat hit. Uh, so if you're going to go with that, you know, maybe come up a little bit on the neck um, to give you that little bit more uh, kick in your mouth or in your throat. Um, then Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger, uh, sent me a nice little sample of the uh, Turbo Smog from Good Profits. That's a, he said it's a cut down, so it's not quite 18 milligram, but still um, gives a good throat hit because it's sort of like a harsher tobacco-y, smoky juice. Um, you know, real nice. Let's see. Um, so vaping on the Elixir uh, RY4, uh, very nice liquid. Um, I wish it were a little more caramely, but a very nice liquid nonetheless. Um, the marker rubbed right off, but this was also an 18 milligram. Um, very strong uh, sort of tobacco flavored juice, so it's very good. Uh, I like that. Um, and I'm still kind of playing around with my Saber Touch. Um, while it is a sturdy, uh, definitely uh, nice in the hand mod, um, it's firing today, produces great vapor because even at 3.7 volts it's using an 18650 battery so it's got a, uh, a huge MA rating on it so I think that gives it a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of kick uh, to the 3.7 volts even though it's the 3.7 is 3.7 and if you shake it I think um, you know when you when you hit the button if that's you know, if that's a little bigger of a battery, then uh, you're going to get a better vape. Uh, so I've been having, like, a little trouble here and there with the switch. It doesn't doesn't fire 100% of the time. It's firing now. But um, it's sort of touch and go uh, with the, with the uh, Saber Touch. So that's where I'm at. Um, let's make sure we check out our show uh, Monday nights, 8 to 10. Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger, the MRP show high voltage vaping um, any questions leave some comments if not uh, thanks for watching and keep on vaping have a great day